Hey, I'm Jonathan Alexander, one of the Panthers beat writers here at the Charlotte Observer. And I'm Elena Getzenberg, the other Panthers beat writer at the Observer. And this is Panthers Tracks. Today, we'll talk about Christian McCaffrey's recent injury and the Panthers' loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. And I'll also talk about my story on Sam Franklin, the undrafted rookie who is starting at safety in replace with Justin Burrs, who injured his ribs a couple weeks ago. Let's start the show. So, Elena, the Panthers gave the Chiefs a good game Sunday. They lost 33-31 to and had the ball with 126 left on the final drive. What did you make of that performance? I thought it was good overall. It was definitely better than I expected, if we're being honest. Like, I, I didn't think it would be that close at the end. I thought they'd stay with them in the first half. And then we've seen second half just offensive implosions by the Panthers all season long. So I was pleasantly surprised. I thought the offense played really well. I was very impressed. Um, I thought it was Teddy, one of Teddy Bridgewater's better games. Statistically, it really did end up being, but just watching him on the field, I thought he was in control of the offense. Um, Christian McCaffrey was a welcome addition. And honestly, the defense even, like, held up. So I thought overall they played better than expected. And though they didn't win, I thought there were a lot of honestly surprising positives to take from the game. Defense held up in the first half, not so much in the in the second half. That third yeah. quarter, yeah, that third quarter kind of changed on things. You know, I I thought, you know, the Panthers had to have a near perfect game, you know, to win that. The Chiefs are so good, um, especially offensively, and they were super aggressive um, there in the first half. Especially, um, they went for it on fourth down three times throughout the game. Had two onside kicks, um, one that caught the Chiefs off guard, but you know it didn't travel ten yards. Um, you know, I, I think they they did all they could, uh, you know, to give the Chiefs their best shot and nearly kind of came away with it if, uh, you know, the offense didn't really struggle there in the third half. I mean, in the second in the third quarter and allow the Chiefs to really get ahead. And Pat Mahomes got into a rhythm and, you know, Pat and Travis Kelsey was killing. And then you had Tyree kill and, and they just couldn't stop him. But, you know, it was a good performance. It is definitely good to see Christian McCaffrey in there. Um, you know, he just he he adds that extra dimension to the Panthers' offense. It's already already kind of dangerous with Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore, and Curtis Samuel when he's healthy, and then Mike Davis. Um, but you know, you have to play all four quarters, and you know, ultimately they didn't do that, and that's why they, they end up losing. Yeah, I think what honestly is starting to become a concerning trend to me. I get that like winning games takes time, and like it's something you have to like kind of. Matt Rule really talked a ton Monday about like getting learning how to win um, and how he felt that was a thing. But I mean, they've had the ball with like, you know, in these final moments of games with chances to win and just you know, the last four games have not been able to get it done. And I know there's yeah. other things during the game that you play to and that sort of thing, but they just can't get that two minute offense. Like that just has not worked all year. And I think at some point, you know, again, there's a lot of moments in the game you could point to as things that ultimately the 12 penalties, those are huge. That's yeah, many penalties, too many penalties. It was, you know, it's tied for the fourth most and the Panthers have ever had in a game. So you can't have that, but it's also like, why can't the two minute offense ever work? Why can't DJ Moore be involved in a football game? So but I think that shows you like how good of a performance it really was that we're like, walking away from it still with all these questions, but they still were only lost by two and had a chance to win. So, you know, there's always going to be negatives, but they were, overall was a surprisingly positive performance, I think. Yeah, Shaq Thompson said it, but I feel like he says it every week, you know, so <laughs> inflicted wounds. Like, I don't understand how you have – I mean, some of the penalties were just – I think they had an offside penalty. Mm-hmm. Um, they had defensive holding, offensive holding, false starts. You know, those things can't happen. And then the – I think the penalty Matt Rule uh, pointed out was the hands to the face by uh, uh, Chris Reed. And, yeah. and that was on the final drive. And, you know, that set them back. And I didn't understand some of the play calls like early on. They threw a couple of passes to Mike Davis right there um, in the middle of the field. And, you know, the, it, let the t- it let the time run off the clock. You know, that certainly didn't help them. You know, um, they probably should have tried to find more out routes. Um you know, that ultimately doomed them. And then they 
set up for the 67 yard kick that I thought had no chance. Just given the fact that the wind was blowing, um, mm -hmm. given the fact that the longest field goal in NFL history is what 64 yards or 63, 64 yards. Like, yeah. I, I don't know what I keep trying that. Um, I know Joey Sly has a huge leg, but you have to factor in his accuracy as well. One bad thing that happened that came out of that game, though, uh, was Christian McCaffrey suffered an injury. He suffered it on that last drive. I think it was the first play of that last drive. They went straight to Christian McCaffrey. He got tackled um, and, and was driven down on that shoulder and came out of the game immediately. So I knew it was serious right away. He ran all the way across the field and took himself out. Um, and that's just something you don't see Christian McCaffrey do. Like I was watching him most of the game and when they switched him out for Mike Davis, like someone had to tell him to come out. Like he, Christian McCaffrey's never going to be the kind of guy to like take himself out of a game unless he's, you know, injured like he was in that situation. So to me, that was a big red flag. You know, did they make a mistake in, in giving Christian McCaffrey the richest contract in NFL history? You know, I know Christian is a young player, but running backs have a short shelf life. I know Christian takes great care of his body, but it, just like you said, injuries are inevitable. I am skeptical of giving running backs big contracts, but I think with Christian's youth, I'm a little on the, okay, I understand it. At the same time, you know, that's a hard decision to make. I, I don't know if I was a Panthers, I wouldn't have followed them for whatever decision they made. I know you feel totally different about you know, giving running backs big contracts. Yeah, I'm not in the camp of paying your running backs very much. I don't think it's proven historically to be the right decision. I mean, listen, Christian McCaffrey does a lot more than a traditional running back does. Everyone can acknowledge that. He's not just running up the middle. That's not really what Christian does. I do not think we're in a place where it's like, oh my gosh, the contract was a mistake. He's still Christian McCaffrey. We saw how much better the offense looked with him than Mike Davis. Like, that's just truth. Like, it's – Mike Davis is a very good running back, but he's not Christian McCaffrey. Right. Um, but I do think – I mean, I think it's too early to look back now and be like, that was a big contract. We're no we're, – he's not even getting paid on that contract yet. He's still on the last year of his rookie deal. So, I just think it's something to keep in mind. I thought that they've used Mike Davis um, a little bit more out of the backfield. Mm -hmm. um, he had five catches, but most of those – I think two or three of those came on that final drive and he only had one rush. Mm -hmm. So I do think they have to be mindful of that, utilize what they have in Mike Davis because he is a good back. I mean, he still used Christian. I mean, this was Christian Caffrey's first game back from high ankle sprain and they used him like it was nothing. If Christian had been back, like, you know, for a week, a week prior, I just wonder how much they'd be using them. They, I think they have to be mindful of the overuse.